It's 100 degrees out today, and to me, it feels like a heat wave. I want to sleep in the minivan camper, but I also don't want to die of a heat stroke. In today's video, I'm going to test the Zero Breeze Mark II in this heat wave and see if it can keep me from sweating all night long. I selected a campsite that has shore power so that I can try to run this zero breeze air conditioner. In preparation for today's video, I packed the air conditioner in my blue crate. So I've got to move my fridge out of the way and I'm gonna get it set up. There it is, the massive zero breeze. So I do have a battery. I don't need it tonight because I have shore power, so I'm not gonna even mess with it. That's the battery right there. It has a couple of USB jacks, 55 by 21, 12 volt outlet, and then a USB-C outlet. My goal for today is gonna be to pipe the cold air from the air conditioner under my blanket and keep our area cool for the night. These things screw in the opposite. Normally you go lefty loosey righty tidy, but this is righty loosey lefty tidy. I am drenched in sweat right now. It's still 98 degrees out here. I've got this thing started and what I wanna do now is get the blanket set over the pipe so I can see if I can cool off the bed and see if that'll help cool me off. For now I have the hot air outlet going out the driver's side window and then I have the cold air intake coming in the passenger side window. I haven't had the system long enough to make permanent window covers, but my plan for the future is to use a standard kind of reflectix material with two little holes piped out of it and use those two holes to put the inlet and outlet going out of them. So really the output is more like if you had one of your vents working on your car blowing on you. The air coming out, it says it's 73 degrees. It feels pretty good. It's almost 100 degrees out right now. So the 73 degree air does feel good. I actually wouldn't be surprised if it either cooled the van a little bit tonight or if with the blanket over it, we actually have to turn it down later because it's gonna to be too cold for us. What does Zero Breeze say about this air conditioner unit? It's only 2,300 BTUs. To compare that to something like the new EcoFlow air conditioner unit, which runs at 4,000 BTUs, this is almost half of the cooling power, but it also consumes much less power. For me in testing, this thing has only consumed on average about 175 watts which is a lot, but it's also not as much as that Echo Flow machine that I believe pulls around 500 watts. So Zero Breeze has some recommendations when using this unit. First, they want you to be in the shade, which I am currently fully in the shade. And they also only want you to try to cool small areas. So the area of my minivan is not very big. I do have those two front windows open. I'm gonna put up all my window shades. I'm gonna get this bed made so that I give the Zero Breeze every opportunity that it can to cool the minivan. In fact, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna have this thing blowing on me the whole time. Sun is down, so I'll leave the dark sides out. I'm at a campsite right now, so I really don't have any concerns about stealth or anything like that. My real concern is just trying to keep this environment as isolated from the outside as possible. That's actually starting to feel nice. In fact, this thing is just blowing on me. It just feels so nice. This one in. Normally in this kind of weather, I would keep my side windows cracked a little bit and run a fan on me. But because I'm trying to keep as much of this cold air as possible in here, I'm gonna leave these two side windows up and leave these two back windows closed because they do crack as well. So I just brought this gauge in from outside. It's currently reading 91 degrees outdoors. So the top one is outdoors and it's reading 90 degrees indoors. The last thing I wanna do is isolate this area using my front curtain. Okay, so I have everything set up. I have my curtain in the front. I've got all my shades up on the sides and I'm just gonna hang out and give this thing as much time as it needs and see if it changes temperatures at all. This is the other part of that sensor. I just have it out here, not in the sun and I wanted to put it under the vehicle, but since I'm already in the shade, I think it's probably safest if I leave it on the table. I forgot that I left these inside of this little pocket right here. So I'm gonna go put those on just to keep all the bugs from coming inside of the vehicle tonight. I've got one bug screen up, now it's time to get the other one. So 
So I don't know if you can tell, but I have this kind of air bubble right here. All of the air inside of this bubble is freezing cold. And I'm actually starting to cool off, which feels great. We've had this thing going for about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm in this little kind of tent environment. The air pressure from the Zero Breeze is holding this sheet up over me. So like I'm not holding this up at all. My head is not giving any support either. So like there's actually a gap in between my head here. And it's currently nine degrees colder than it is outside. The good thing about being cool now, because it is still 86 degrees outside or 85 degrees outside, is I can, I feel like I can think a little better now that I'm cool. I'm not sweating, I'm not drenched in sweat. If you're gonna use something like this to cool your living environment, I would try to get to a place, for example, like right now where I have shore power and let this thing run. I don't know that the one battery is big enough to run this for more than four or five hours. Four or five hours is definitely enough time to cool you down, but I'm just not sure that that's enough battery power to keep you cool throughout the night. It's about 10 o'clock at night and we're gonna try to get some sleep and hopefully we don't sweat too bad throughout the night, but I have this sheet with the cool air going into it. I'm not sweaty, I don't feel too hot, outside like here where my hands are it does feel warm because i have all the cold air going under the blanket here and the cold air under the blanket actually feels pretty good we slept really good and my wife got cold last night we ended up using just the throw over sheet and i used the blanket across the bulkhead to kind of try to seal in the cold air a little bit and around three in the morning she got a little cold so i pulled it down and when i pulled it down i could definitely feel the hot air coming back in from my little gap right there so now the ac is off i'm putting it away i'm actually starting to sweat already last night with our setup we were very comfortable with the zero breeze we got actually a little too cold so I think it worked for what it was supposed to do for me. The one thing you want to keep in mind when you are using something like this is that it takes up this much space. This part fits perfectly on the center console of my Toyota Sienna. And then these two hoses right here, the intake for the condenser and the outlet for the hot air go in the driver's and passenger's compartment. So the way I'm set up, it's not too inconvenient because these hoses run out of the front of the vehicle and this hose runs basically wherever I want it so that I can get that point of cold air on me as I'm running the machine. If you like my content, check out this video and I'll see you on my next adventure.